Have you ever noticed how hard it is to keep something to yourself, especially when you witness something amazing or when something amazing has happened to you? We love to share incredible news, especially when that news is good. So imagine you're the one with leprosy and Jesus heals you. How do you explain that to people when the one who healed you ordered you not to talk about it? Or imagine it's your child that has died, and through a miracle of God, your child is raised from the dead. How do you not talk about that? Or imagine that you've been possessed by demons, so much so that you'd lost your mind, and the next thing you know, you're running around in a graveyard, you're naked, and you've been barking like a dog at people. How do you explain to people that you were set free from all of that when the one who set you free ordered you not to talk about it? Throughout the entire book of Mark, Jesus made this one demand. Don't talk about this. And apparently, Jesus' followers got the message. Because when Mary Magdalene comes to the tomb and finds it empty, at first, she doesn't say a word. Now, I'm reading this, and I'm thinking to myself, how in the world could you not talk about this? Now, the Bible says the reason they didn't say anything is, well, because they were afraid. And I'm thinking... Afraid of what? The Romans, the Pharisees, or the Sadducees? What exactly were they afraid of? But then it occurred to me that that word for fear in Scripture can also mean great awe and reverence. In other words, Mary was so astounded by what she saw that she was, well, what we call here in North America, dumbfounded. In other words, she was so amazed by what she saw that at first, She couldn't even speak or talk about it. It was simply too much for her mind to get her head around. But eventually she did speak, and when she started to speak, she didn't stop. This was the time to speak up and to answer the question everyone had been asking. Who is this Jesus? And now Mary was ready to tell the world. He is the Messiah, the risen Lord. That was good news back then, and it's still good news today. Jesus is, in fact, the risen Lord. Well, again, that was our nugget for today. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow.